Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods. Um, as you can see, I am, or I guess as you can hear, I am still a little bit sick, you know, just a little bit, um, but I should be good for a video. Um, now this guy, or this this woman, should I say, close. I think it might be level 50 that it goes to stage 2, because I think it's every 25 levels, or is it every every 15 levels? So it might be 45. I'm, I, I don't remember... And looking at the book takes too long. <laughs> um, so, it was brought to my attention that every time we're up here, and then we drop down here, we take fall damage. And it's a little bit annoying. Um, we can, however, get a certain pair of boots, um, I believe it's the unobtainium boots, that give you no fall damage. And so, we very much should do this. Now, we're going to need to get some more unobtainium, but it should be fine. Same with, um, oh no, we actually do have enough all the modium, so we'll make these. Um, unobtainium, we have one. Vibranium, we have a lot, so we should be able to make vibranium boots quite easily. So let's do that. These boots as well, I, I know that I've got these vibranium boots, but these are from um, Silent Gear. And so they don't get the all the modium traits that this one does. And as you can see, oh wait, the vibranium boots already have no fall damage, so we don't need unobtainium. Okay, what does the helmet do? Water breathing. Hmm, that is very tempting. Um, now, obviously, we have the enchants on here. Feather Falling 5 and Protection 5. So, we probably need to enchant these two. Um, let's do the helmet as well. If, if we have enough. We might not have enough all the modium. No, we don't. Um, I might go and try and grab some. We should actually have plenty in the mining dimension. So, we'll quickly go there. Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully, there's no more jump scares. Okay, we're good. Let's fly over here to our massive crater that we have. And for the most part, they should be standing out. Oh, it still makes... Wait, I don't have the boots on. If I have the boots on and we fly up here... Also, I, I realized just then I said we should enchant it with feather falling. We don't need feather falling. That, that's the whole point. But look at this. It doesn't even make the, the, hurt, the hurt flinch sound that it, that it normally makes. Um, my, my voice this morning is horrific. It sounds terrific. I should be fine there. Oh, and check out that. We now know that there's some all the modium right behind this door. That is awesome. I like that the charm is working with my shaders too. I am happy about that. Although the spectral vision uh, still doesn't seem to work. But, I mean, it's it's fine. I'm also picking up this because I've realized you can use them for experience, which is awesome. Um, and we should also keep an eye out for the stellars. Now, I don't know if they get mined themselves. Um, and by themselves, I mean if the quarry mines them, or if we have to manually mine them. I don't know. Um, I think that the quarry mines them. But yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure. Is this all the modium too? Oh, wow. Yeah, we've got quite a bit. And because we have a magnet, we're pretty easy about just mining them. Um, like, we don't have to worry about chasing them down. They should just fly to us. Which looks like that's what's happening. Actually, I take that back. We just mined... Oh, no. It, it took a little bit. <laughs> Okay, that should be plenty of all the modium. Um, I think we're good to go. I'll drop down, just so that we can show off our fall damage again. And, yep, there was one sitting down here. Or maybe even two. There's a few all the modium sitting down there. Okay, let's head home. The server is about to reboot soon, as you can see. Um, but, as you can also probably tell, this happens every episode. Every ep... Look, the, um... What am I trying to say here? The reboots do not happen that often. It's just, I pick the worst timing ever, every single time. So we're going to double this, get all the modium, make a helmet, and that should be awesome. Um, once again, I think we're sort of stuck with this jetpack until we can make, like, an angel ring, um, which gives us flight. But this guy... Oh, actually, the nether stars are doable. And then it looks like we need to do some Batania. Hmm. Maybe we'll get into Batania so that we can fly without a jetpack. That does not sound too bad. Um... Okay, all the modium. Let's make ourselves a helmet. I wonder... Now, now I don't know how this works, but is it possible to um, transfer enchants from an item to another item? Now, the enchants on these items weren't even that good. Like, what, unbreaking and feather falling. Protection 5 is obviously pretty good, but they don't really matter too much. So I probably will just void them. And by void them, I mean salvage them so that we get some goodies back. Um, let me wear the actual vibranium. So that I don't accidentally void it. And make sure that we're voiding Silent Gear and Silent Gear. Ah, I've got to wait for this one. Uh, but that's fine. Okay, so, enchanting. Um, 
And, and the focus of this episode isn't just making these boots and enchanting them. Um, because apparently we can't enchant them. What's this about? Oh, also, the server, I gotta make sure it doesn't restart, because I do. you do lose the item if it restarts. Um, hmm, I don't know. I feel like this is meant to work. Oh, wait, no, these are the silent gear boots. I'm, I'm so dumb. Yeah, I, I apologize. Um, feather falling, we don't need. Multi-jump? That sounds awesome. We're gonna try and get that. What, what level do we need? Level 42. Ooh, all protection... What's that, 7? Protection 7 or multi-jump? You know what? We have a jetpack. We don't need multi-jump. I'm gonna go for... Oh, okay, yeah. The server's rebooting. I am going to click disconnect and hope that I didn't break the server again. Fingers crossed. Alrighty, let's grab our experience. Um, we'll probably grab all of it, because what, what do we have to get to? Was it just 42? Or was it higher? I, I've completely forgotten. Um, vibranium, boots, multi-jump. Uh, oh, it's 56. It was 42 for the multi-jump. Ah, 56 we're going to. Hopefully we have enough, but well, we might we might not actually. Oh. Uh, uh, that's a problem. Um, 52, 56, 56. Uh, okay. You know what I've heard you can do as well? Apparently you can do a hashtag and search for an enchant. So if I search multi-jump, multi-jump, we can actually see enchantment books here for multi-shot. And then these ones, yeah, these are the multi-jump. Gives you the power of multi-jump, double jump, when enchanted on boots. One extra jump per level. After that, cooldown kicks in. Sneak to jump normally. Okay, so that, that sounds... Well, I don't, know, I don't know. It doesn't sound weird. I mean, why would you have to sneak to jump normally? I guess if you were spam jumping, but only wanted to do one jump at a time. I guess, I guess that makes sense. I mean, let's let's go, let's go for the multi-jump and hopefully get more. Okay, we, we did. We got unbreaking and we we still got protection 7. How lucky is that? Okay, so, so let's say I've got my jetpack off at the moment. This is how a jump goes. Oh, I've got to wear them. <laughs> this is a jump. And that's a double jump. A okay. Yeah. And because they're vibranium boots, it doesn't matter that we can jump, what, 11 times? Because we don't take fall damage. Awesome. Nice. Okay, the helmet now. Um, mana boost? Sure, why not? What does this give us? This gives us unbreaking mana boost and protection 5. That sounds alright to me. I, I'm, I'm not too fussed. It doesn't sound bad at all. Um, do we have the magnets? Yes, we have the magnets on our legs, so that's fine. These vibranium boots we can trash. And we're back in business. Oh, okay. The tree people have decided to talk again. They are coming, apparently. Um... I don't think our dragon is old enough yet to, you know, give them a piece of, of, of their own medicine, but, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. Actually, I've got some steak. There you go. Eat all of it. How's that? Nice and, nice and full. All right. Ooh. Oh. Oh, all right. Um. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Um. All right. Let's um. Let's take care of these. Okay. I mean, you know, that's. That's creepy. It's definitely creepy. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty strong now. We just we just enchanted all of our stuff. Oh, I just threw my sword on the ground. Um, 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 uh, where'd my sword just go? <laughs> Where? Hello? Um... So did I just somehow void my sword? Am I missing something? These are all wooden swords, right? Ha what? What just took place? What? My sword. <laughs> Do I have a magnet somewhere that's like picked it up? That isn't me? I don't understand. What? What's going on? 
Okay, um, I have no idea where my sword went. At all. Not a clue. Um, I think the tree people took it, which is not good at all. Because it's a pretty good sword. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I mean, we don't necessarily need the sword. Um, I guess hopefully it will show up again. Hopefully, maybe we'll have to steal it off the tree people. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess we'll move on for now. No point, no point stressing over the sword. We could probably make a new one as well, if, if we wanted to. But once again, our Paxel is still pretty good. Okay, there's actually a few things I want to do. One of which is going to require a crafter. Um, yeah, I think just one crafter. And that is, I want to automate our ice production for our, um, our reactor. And possibly automate the entire reactor. Now, I know we don't really need to, but I still, I, I sort of feel like doing it. I, it feels unfinished at the moment. Um, so essentially, we have ice being made. We want it to be turned into packed ice, which we can do like so. And then the packed ice into blue ice, um, like so. So that's packed ice, yep. And then we want to process the blue ice into an energizing orb to get dry ice. Okay? And this should all work, I think. Um, we're probably going to need some cables from refined storage to get this done. And I don't know what else. Possibly nothing else. Possibly nothing else. Hopefully I cut that out. I, I just started coughing. So hopefully, hopefully I catch that when I'm editing. If I don't, I apologize. Um, okay, so. Um, we kind of need to rearrange some stuff. Um, here, let's pick up this. And let's move it over to about, um, I don't know. Hmm. So let's say we have a cable here. Then we have, um, hmm. How do I want to do this? We could have, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I want to do this. Hmm. You know what? I think the simple way is with, um, another ender chest actually. So we actually do have one that we were using for the plastic. Uh, but since we kind of have the plastic thing not working at the moment, we can just move it over here. Um, and essentially, I want to replace this chest with the ender chest. So we're going to make a mess real quick. A nice big mess. Let's now put in all of the ice. Boom, boom, boom. Um, we might have to make an ice drawer, but I think once we have this automated, we won't need to do that. We can put the dry ice in as well. Um, so now all of that stuff is in our system, which is fine. That also means we could, in theory, put the energizing orb elsewhere like we could slap it like down here or something i don't particularly know i think i do want it to be up here so how can i get the cables from here to up there without looking horrible i think the answer is we just have them look horrible uh <laughs> yeah i think this should be fine now another thing that i think we could uh that i think we can do is set up um wireless refined storage i don't know how um like, I, I know that we could wirelessly access it in our inventory, but I'm wondering if there's a way to wirelessly send it to another one, if that makes sense. Is that what a relay would do? A network transmitter, network receiver. I bet you that's what these guys do. Yeah, they use ender pearls. I would assume that means that's what they do. So we could wirelessly send it up here, and that would mean these cables don't exist. Um, but for now, I think this is fine. Um, so energizing rods like so. Um, the orb... Hmm... Is there a floor under here? There is. Okay, perfect. Crafter, I want to face up if it lets us. Yep. Then place the orb here. Now, if we open the craft, we can double check and it says energizing orb. So we know that it's connected. Then what I think we can do is actually send the cable through the wall and that might just look a little bit better. We could also send it through the cobble and that might look even better and connect it. Mm. No, we'll patch that up. That's what, oh, that's a stair. I'm going to have to go do that later. Uh, but I think we can do something like this, if I can escape. Alrighty, let me patch up this, assuming that I can slowly move here. The jetpack's so fast. <laughs> now, I know I can actually change the throttle of it, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know. Um, so this is connected. This looks alright. Inside this guy, we're going to put probably... I guess we'll only do the processing pattern. The rest of these patterns we can chuck into the faster um, auto crafter up here. So we can chuck them in here. 
And because it's a diamond one, it goes a lot faster. So that should be fine. Um, all of this automation should actually be done now. Assuming that this guy has power to begin with, to power the energizing orb. But once again, that's what we're sort of trying to automate here. Um, I think as well, I kind of want to import items into here. Um, so what would be the easy way to do that? All right, I think I've figured it out. I think what we're going to do is, here, I could probably break this bit too. Yep, we're going to place an importer there and hope that that's how it works. Um, so let's open this guy, search for importer. Oop, oop, I can't spell. There we go, importer. Ooh, we need cables. We don't have cables automated? Okay, I'll, I'll add that pattern in a second as well. But uh, importer, hopefully these four cables that we still have are enough. Um, boom, boom, boom. Get under here. So importer... Hmm, no, we want an exporter. I am very not smart today. <laughs> I'm sick. That's my excuse. Leave me be. Uh, exporter. We're going to have to craft one of these. <laughs> Put the importer away. That's fine. Exporter. We'll grab this. All right. So exporter here. Inside this guy, we want to put dry ice and uraninite and redstone and all that stuff. So um, coal is one thing we want. Dry ice is another thing. Um, what, what else was I about to grab? Um, uraninite, obviously. Um, and redstone. We don't have much redstone. And I don't know if I want to use the redstone for this. You know what? We will. And we'll keep the quarry on 24-7, I think. And, you know, it'll be powered by both our solar panels and the... Um, the reactor that we're setting up. So it should be self-sufficient, hopefully. Um, let's head under here. So we want to say, keep dry ice in here, redstone, coal, uraninite. Okay. Perfect. I think. I think. Fingers crossed. Um, we can also probably make it look a little bit nicer as well by placing it under the floor and then doing this. Sorry, I've got like a tickle in my throat, so I'm, I'm str struggling to talk, as you might be able to tell. All right, as you can see, it's actually on at the moment. Um, once this guy fills up, he'll be a bit more fuel efficient, I think. And obviously we need dry ice in, so I'll put one in already, just to keep the temperature lower, so that we don't burn through this much fuel, which we currently are. Um, I should have put the dry ice in, in beforehand. But this is fine. This is doing its thing. Um, the... What, what was I about to say? The dry ice, we actually need to ask to be auto-crafted, so... If I search for dry ice and ask for a few, well, actually, yeah, let's ask for like three, right? And I want to try and grab them as soon as they spawn without them getting exported, but I don't know if I'll be able to. It's not really looking like it, if I'm being honest. Although it does have to do a lot of crafting, so maybe... You know what? Actually, I think it's fine. We can just take it out of the this guy. Oh, but it hasn't even shown up. Oh, because this bit takes a while. This bit has the power. Why isn't it... Oh. You're only meant to put in two blue ice. Not this many. That's a problem. Okay, how do we fix this? I do not know. Alright, now, I don't know if this is the option, but a regulator sort of sounds like it might be what we need. Does that... I mean, it sort of sounds right. I think we're out of... Um... Are we out of this? No, we don't have an auto crafted though. Okay, let's make a regulator. I don't know what this does, but we're going to try it out, I guess. Um, so, do I put the regulator here? No. How does it work? I have no idea. Ah, yes, we do need the regulator, but we're actually going to get rid of the crafter um, altogether. So, what we need is an exporter, right? So, we're going to grab one of those. Um, exporter, we're probably going to have to make a new one, but that should be fine. Make one of those, we can put the crafter away. We can actually put the pattern away. Um, but we might just put the pattern... Oh, not there. Um, in here to be rewritten. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll place a an exporter below here. If I can reach under here, which I can. Exporter there. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what we want. Uh, we want to have the this guy, the regulator. And then we want to put blue ice in here. But click on this and set it to 2. And in theory, it should then keep 2 blue ice in that inventory. 
let's see if this works. So I'll put all the blue ice back into the system. And what do we see? We see two blue ice in here. That is perfect. Now, the only problem here is that... Oh, I, yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. See, it, it, it fixes itself. Um, is the taking the items out part, right? But I suppose... Oh, it's going to look a little bit messy. I was, I was trying to hope that it wouldn't look too bad. But I think we are going to need to slap on an importer. Um, to take it out of the, the inventory. It's not the end of the world. It's just... It, it'll just look a little poor. To my, to my likings. Um, if I can even place it. It's not seeming to... Oh, I mean... I, oh, oh, we're making a mess. Okay, yep. Okay, there we go. I shift right clicked on the actual square. And there we go. Now we have the dry ice. And I assume I can set this guy to import dry ice. And then as soon as this completes, it should get taken out. In theory. Uh, that's not the greatest. Um... I'm thinking maybe, like, I don't know why it wouldn't. Why wouldn't you take out the dry ice? I'm assuming the only possibility, <laughs> from my point of view, is that maybe it only interacts or exports from the bottom. So if I do the importer like that, yeah, there we go. That took out the dry ice. Um, but obviously, we don't want it to take out the blue ice. So we do need to put on the filter, like so. Shift right click there on the importer. Um, set up the regulator. Blue ice. Set this to two. Set. And voila. Assuming we have blue light, blue ice in our system, which I think could be the only other problem. So we can put the blue ice back in and we should see it show up there. We do. Perfect. So that part's now working. We should also see dry ice coming in here. So that part's working. The only other part now is maintaining the, um, the blue ice, which we can do in here. So if I now search for blue ice and we ask for like 10... Because I, I assume like 8 will get used up instantly. Here we go. 8. Oh, we got all 10. Perfect. Let's now ask for 10 to be kept at all times. And what will happen is... These will go there. These will go back into the system. And it's automated. We've successfully automated it. You can have a look in here. Full of redstone, which means we're getting more redstone. Um, the uraninite, we need to add to the filter down here to get processed. And then... This guy should be completely perfect. Um, so raw uraninite. Is that what we want? What do we want? Or do we want poor? I think we want poor. Yeah, we want poor. And then we want to order craft all of these ones into poor. That's what we want to do. Um, so we'll place the poor here. To get, you know, smelted. And then make some uh, patterns. So we want to search for uraninite. Oh, uraninite. And we want to ask for pour to be crafted however possible. So this recipe and and oh, what am I doing? And the other recipe, which I think is this guy. So we should now have both using dense and normal uraninite. Beautiful. Let's then put this ba -ba 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 -ba, into this guy. Boom, boom. And if we luckily have a little bit of pour uraninite, we can place one in here to be maintained and what will happen is once all of this poor uraninite gets processed it will craft the um, dense and the normal uraninite into poor uraninite and then that should take care of all of that problem should be solved this guy should be completely automated beautiful and do you know what we're actually going to do um i'm going to double check my storage to make sure that we're not like about to lose all of our power um, we could probably go with another one. Do we have that crafted? No. I don't think we could craft the storage for whatever reason. Let's get another 64k. So I'm going to ask for one of you. Hopefully we have the stuff. It's saying we do. So I'm going to assume we do. It's probably going to have to smelt and stuff, but that's fine. What I want to do is now craft a completely new reactor. And I want to replace this one with the new one. Now, the problem is, with this mod, you can't actually, uh sort of replace it in the aspect of using up this these parts that we made. Does that make sense? Like, I can't craft these uh, starter bits into the next tier, which I think is a, a downside, right? I don't think that's a good quality because now we've just got this starter reactor that we don't want anymore. Um, but we're going to make the next best thing. Now, we could go for a hardened one, which probably would take care of all of our issues forever. 
It's a little bit more expensive in the, in the terms of it needs energized steel. But we now have this automated. This whole um, energizing orb. Uh, well, actually, no, we don't really, do we? Hmm. No, we, we definitely don't. Also, have a look at this. Our... Wait, so that's the importer. Yeah. Our importer isn't working anymore. Because we have a filter on it. Hmm. Like, like here, let's see. If I take this dry out ice out, and it makes more... Check out this. It's still got dry ice in it. If I get rid of the filter, it actually takes the dry ice out. Is it only going to take dry ice out? Or is it taking out the... Yeah, I think... I think it doesn't even need a filter. In fact, I think the filter breaks it. You know what? Is it possible that the filter was like a blacklist? Mood blacklist. Oh my god. It was. Okay, well that's fine. It, it still seems to be working, even with this. Like, it's not taking out the blue ice. It's only taking out the finished product. Awesome. Dry ice automated. Wonderful. You know what that does mean? I think that means we could probably... Do a similar setup for the hardened stuff. You know what? No, that, that, that seems like a big task. We're just going to craft a completely new reactor, I think. Just just, just because we can. Who, who cares? We're in the right thing. Yep. Reactor. Um, we want the reactor basic. Um, we can craft not the large ones. We can craft the middle bits. Okay. How do we craft the large ones? We have the recipe for it, so let's add that. Um... Then we should be able to craft all of these things, because of the uranium that we already have. So add that. Here we go. This should be a lot easier than I thought it would be. All that we need are the parts. Like, all, all, the, all the components. Um, so, reactor. Now, how many bits do we need? It's a 3x3. Three three, so that's what? 9. And then it's 9 times 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if my genius brain is correct, we need... 36, <laughs> right? Boom. We almost can. We're actually only missing the uraninite, which I think we have. It's just a matter of uh, it processing sometime this year, which we could probably just do that and have it all done instantly. All right. We, oop, we should be there right now. I click start. It's struggling. Click start. Okay. It should be crafting. We've got four. We've got 28. <laughs> We've got... Okay. We have them all. So, yeah. As you can see, it's green, which means we can place it. So, all we need to do now is make a bit of a mess up here as we pick up this entire structure and replace the new one. Perfect. We have the basic now. Place it right in its footsteps. It will build itself. And all of our power woes should be gone forever. And it should just instantly replace like all the automation should continue uh, assuming you know we just fill up all this stuff but I mean we don't even have to fill up this stuff we could put it back into our system if we wanted to I'm just going to help it along there we go see it's already started up we're going to chuck in this oh we forgot to put in the dry ice again it's fine dry ice in coal and redstone in how much power are we doing we are generating 8.7 thousand RF a tick how beautiful is that that is awesome. And hopefully our 64k is done. No, it actually isn't. Is it stuck in here or something? No. Okay, you know what? We're going to make a crafting monitor so that we can see exactly what is going on with our entire system. We need a crafting monitor. Um, we have to order craft to make it, so hopefully that goes according to plan. But I'm sick of not knowing where everything is. You, you know what the problem is? I th No, actually, the problem shouldn't be the smelting. Because we have the smelter go through this now. It goes through a completely different system. The only thing, as you can see, is the sand uh, into glass. That still seems to be a problem. And honestly, we can probably get away with switching it. So why don't we do that? Let's grab these sand and glass. Oh, no, mm, actually, no. The, yeah, they kind of have to stay there. Unless we have them turn into sand and then not get smelted too, but that seems pointless. Hmm, alright. Alrighty, we are just about there. Um, we definitely need to upgrade and fix our processing. Especially if we're going to run this guy 24-7. We, we can't really keep up. Um, here we go. We do have a crafting grid now, though. So, or, or a crafting monitor, sorry. Um, this guy, we can slap... 
Yeah, right here. Why not? Um, oh, because he's not connected. That's probably why not. <laughs> um, hmm. I mean, this guy we haven't even used yet, so maybe... You know what? It's fine. We'll just slap this guy here. Boom. Crafting monitor. Wow. So, as you can see, this is what's clogging up our system. Um, the storage disk, which needs some glass still. The patterns, which also need glass. And that's about it. It's glass. And the problem is, our glass is currently running through the same system as our ore processing. Um, yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to stop all of this processing. Right? And we'll set up a different area. So this will only be for, for for glass, this little thing right here. And I think that's fine. I do I do think that's fine. So let's replace this with a cable. And this is our glass setup now. It's no longer our ore processing. We're going to have to make new ore processing, which we'll probably do next episode. Um, and we'll have to set up a little bit more automation too. Um, actually, I could just do it this video. All right, so... If we want to automate our ores a little bit better, we can make energized smelters that um, get to a point where they do... What? Shift N. Um, I don't know how to see exactly how much they do. Where do I see that? Um, but they, they do multiple at a time, right? Like, like these scale up so that they smelt multiple items at a time, right? Um, the problem is they cost a little bit. This guy, like we have none of it automated, just the glass. So we're going to need to do some automation, and we actually need to do it in a metallurgic infuser, which we do have. We just don't have him set up for automation. Um, I think we could set it up a little bit easier. Let's also automate cables. All right, here we go. Um, these cables from refined storage should be good enough. Boom, boom, boom. I think we have an extra slot in here. Boom. Now that guy's full. This diamond storage or diamond crafter, full. Let's get some cables. Um, two is probably actually enough. Uh, and we're just going to do something like this and slap this guy facing like so. So now he's facing into the metallurgic infuser. We can double check. It says metallurgic infuser. Perfect. Let's do some recipes. So for the smelter, we're going to need basic control circuits, which is this recipe here. So we can click it. It automatically turns into processing, sets up this. Beautiful. I love that. Next up, we are, we're going to need steel. And steel, once again, you can do in Metallurgic Infuser. Well, actually, no. Sort of, but sort of not. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? I think I want to say... I think we want to go down the rabbit hole. So we want to go from steel to steel grit. Yeah, here we go. So we want this recipe. Let's also bookmark enriched iron. So this recipe here, we want to change charcoal dust to... How do I clear that? Do I shift click? I do. Um, we want to change that to be coal. So let's place a coal there. Not 32 of them. <laughs> let's change that down to one. Set. So one coal and one enriched iron gives us the steel dust. Perfect. That's right. Next up, we need the enriched iron, which is a similar recipe. It's just iron and the coal, which I only want to be one. Set. Perfect. And then we want to smelt the steel grit. So where are we? The steel dust, I guess. Sorry, not not grit. We want to smelt this guy. Um, but we'll get there, I think. I think we'll get there. So let's put these recipes in. Let me ask for some of that steel uh, dust. Hmm, steel ingot. Steel dust. I only want one for now. So let's order one. Let's also grab a steel ingot. What I'm going to do is set up auto crafting for... Or auto smelting manually. Which will be steel grit equals, hmm, how do I want to do this, actually? I don't know. You know what? I take that back, I think. Actually, hmm, I don't know what I'm doing. For now, I think we will set it up like this. So we'll set up a recipe and put it in with the glass production. Um, but in the future, we'll, we'll switch it out for the, um, the smelting system that we're going to be setting up. So at the moment, we don't have the smelting thing, but we're setting up this so that we can get the smelting thing. Now, another thing to take note of is this guy is not working, or is he slow? Was it just made then? No. Hmm. What are we dealing with? Scheduled. Enriched iron. Machine doesn't accept item. Machine doesn't accept item. Okay. I think I need to set this guy. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So this guy needs to do both on the right side. Input, output, purple, right. 
<laughs> right? So he should work now. Um, hmm. Input, output, purple, right? Extra yellow, none. Okay. Input, output, on the right. Okay, I cancel the recipe and I'll try again. Otherwise, I think I need to do a completely new setup. But I have a hunch that, yeah, it's not going to work. Is it saying the same thing? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're going to cancel that. We're, we're going to pick these up and we're going to move them. Okay, the cables we're going to use now, or I guess the setup, we'll use cables. So, well, not cables, I guess logistic transporters. Um, I was going to use cyclic cables, but they're a little bit annoying to make. Um, and we're going to set it up out here, I guess, um, because we need it to be connected to our network. So ideally, and we also need power. So, hmm, you know what? This guy can probably get picked up. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, how do I do this? Let's, yeah, we're going to need more cables. You know what would probably also speed things up? If I had a stack upgrade, but of course it needs glass. Why does everything need glass? Um, where's the gravel at? Let's speed this up a bit. Where is gravel? Do we not even have gravel? No, we don't have gravel, so I'm gonna have to do stacks at a time. Okay, here we go. That sand production is horrific, but I, I guess it's, in a way, it's fine. I don't know. Um, I also don't know how to place these without making it look messy, so I'm in a bit of a pickle. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know where to do it. You know what? We'll do the classic move, which is set it up here and say, wink, wink, we'll move it later. <laughs> when we actually have, like, barely any plan to move it later. Um, oh, this is so annoying. I, I don't know where to do it. I also broke this, which is actually not good. Um, you're meant to have tiny coal in it, aren't you? Alright, let me make a few things. Let me make one of these things. One of these uh, flux points, so that we can get power wirelessly. Which should be pretty easy. Oh, we forgot to make the redstone block. We should probably craft these automatically now that we have redstone. Here we go. Flux point. Beautiful. Alright, so now we're behind the house, just over here. My plan is um, to fill up this hole and set up the crafter going into a chest. Right, so we're going to have a chest here. Um, we're going to set up the crafter to be placed like so. So you should be looking at the chest. Perfect. And he's going to actually have these recipes in him. Right? And when he requests for these items, they're going to be piped out and placed into a metallurgic infuser. Um, so what we're going to do is place this guy here, go into the side config, clear that. The left side is going to be input and output. So it's going to be purple. So all of the items coming in and out are going to be done so via this tube here. And I believe we need to grab our configurator to um, set the extracts. So let's grab the configurator from mechanism. Here we go. Make sure he is set on configurate items, which you can actually see barely in the bottom left there. So then I want to configure him. I want him to do both. You know what? Actually, I think I want him to do push. I want this guy to do pull. And then I want to set this guy to do auto-eject. And we'll see if that works. Then under here, all we want to set up is the side config again. We want the bottom to be an input for extras. And I believe what that'll do is it will import into this side here. See how it's yellow? Um, and then we also need energy, which we'll probably just do from the top. Actually, no. We'll do it from the side. The reason I'll do it from the side is in case we need to have another input at the top. Um, so the side will be energy, that will be the flux point, hook it up to the network, he should be golden. Alright, let's give this a shot. Let's search for steel grit, try and craft a one. So I've clicked craft, let's now run over here, the iron's gone in, um, I've got to configure this guy actually, to be pull, there we go. So now the carbon's gone in, and he's turning into a enriched iron. Does it automatically push it? No, it doesn't. Okay. So that's unfortunate. I think, though... Hmm. You know... Hmm. How, how can we do this? I guess 
We can make this look really messy, or we can make it not look messy. What do we want it to do? Uh, th this makes it hard. I'm thinking I could connect the pipes up there, but then my problem is that this guy's set on none. Well, like, it, this guy's set on pull at the moment, and I don't think he'll let stuff through. We can give it a shot. Um, let's set the top guy to be output. And I've got it on auto-eject, right? Auto-eject on. That doesn't work, so let's change this guy to be pull. Enriched iron does not want to go out. Output top enriched iron pull. Set to pull. It doesn't want to work. Okay, hear me out. What if we try with an ender chest? That might solve our solution. Um, ender chest, we're probably going to need an eye of ender because we always do. Let's make a few because, I mean, we can. Uh, we'll need a ender chest, so an ender pouch, bada bing, bada boom, ender chest, and we don't have blaze rods, so let's get our blaze powder, assuming we have them. We don't. Do we have magma creams? We do, and we have some blocks, so let's take all of those out and get these processed. So just in case you don't remember how this works, the magma blocks get turned into magma creams, magma creams get turned into blaze powder. But we can also get blazes from here now, which I sort of forgot about. Now, we don't have our looting sword because the tree people took it. I'm not sure if they even know they took it, to be honest. Um, but I'm hoping these guys still drop blaze rods. Maybe just not as rare. Hmm, fire shards, okay. I think it'll be nice to kill these guys because these guys are very annoying anyway. Uh, okay, we, we did get some blaze rods. So, so it is working. And I think, oh my god, there are, are a lot. Imagine if we had looting. Um, okay, there we go. That takes care of our issue. Let's go over here, somewhere safe. Slash home. Bada bing. Bada boom. We should be good to go. And I think as well, these are uh, molten cores. You can combine into blaze rods. Nice. Oh, we, we already had a few as well. I'll, I'll keep the extras. Ender chest. Boom. Do we have wool? We do. Even better. Ender chest. Let's also grab our diamond so that we can um, privatize it. And run over here. Place this guy. Make him diamond, pick it up, and let's see. So, enriched iron is in there. We place this guy here. Let's set it to auto eject, and it's gone. And as you see, it's actually gone back in, and the next bit's being made, and that should also go back into our system. So, in theory, we've just automated um, this enrichment process. Um, I'll do a recap in a second just to prove it, sort of thing. Um, let's also grab the. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, Oh, not that. Steel grit, or steel dust, sorry. <clears throat> I keep saying the wrong thing, and I'm dying. I keep, I'm keep, keep coughing. So, so once again, I apologize about the strange noises, but it's worth it. It brings the content. Okay, and next up, we want to, I think, put this pattern in here. And now, if I request a steel ingot, so let's take all this steel out and ask for... Um, one, and click start. They should go in here, which they are. This should process. We'll chuck some speed upgrades in here later. So this should work. The power should stay in there. That gets output. As you see, it comes back in. This gets processed. And then what I'm hoping for is the dust will show up here. It can't get crushed. So it will just be sent to the furnace. That's what I'm hoping for. You know what? I could probably slap it over there. And I completely did not think about that. But as you see, th that method does work. But this method works a lot easier, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm quite silly. Um, but yeah, there we go. That, that's pretty good. There is one more enrichment that we want to do for now. Um, enrichment. We'll probably have to do the rest of this crafting next episode. But we want um, alloy, I think it's called. This guy. Infused alloy. So we want this guy right here. Um, we want this to be a redstone. So redstone... We have 400, which is pretty good. Set this to be 1. Is that how much it needs? I've completely forgotten. Let's um, double check. Alloy. Click on this guy. It says 10 mil buckets, which I assume is 1. So that works. Click this. Bada bing. Bada boom. Place this guy over here. And we should now be able to auto craft a lot of different things. Just to test this, 
I want to also create the speed upgrades um, for mechanism, which use glass, osmium dust, infused alloy. So let's do this. It's not set on exact, so we use any glass. That's fine. Um, as for the osmium dust, let's actually... Hmm, I, don't, I don't think there's an easy way to set up the automation for osmium dust. But it should be fine. Let's um, hmm, put this recipe boom, 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 up here and see if how many we can make. How much dust do we have? How much osmium dust? 16. Okay, so we should be able to make uh, 8 speed upgrades quite easily. Let's go for 8. Start. Craft. It might need to get some um, sand to make the glass because, once again, our, our sand process is horrific. Let's see. Is that what it's doing? Actually, no. What it's doing is crafting the stuff over here. It's putting in all the redstone and all the iron and it's getting us some infused alloys. Awesome. I like that. So yeah, just a recap on how this works in case you haven't seen this before and, and you're sort of learning with me sort of thing. Um, we have the crafter. Instead of going directly into a machine, we have it go into a chest because it needs to go into three different sides of the machine. Um, or, or in this case, it needs to go into two and come out of another one. So we have it go put the ingredients into this chest and then the chest takes out... Oh, actually, I just realized. What is stopping it from taking out the redstone at the top? Huh. And this side isn't even set on an input. Hmm, what have I done here? You know what? I was going to explain how this works, but it just got mysterious. <laughs> anyway, this setup works. So we have a pull here and a push there. Then we have a pull at the bottom here going to the bottom. Um, I'm thinking what happens is maybe it reads the connection because they are logistical pipes. So they're meant to be somewhat smart. And maybe they read that, okay, well, this left side can only input items. Um, input these red items here. It can't input the yellow ones. And this bottom one went, hey, well, I can input the yellow ones. So perhaps that's how it works. And because only redstone and only coal can go in the bottom here um, into this yellow slot, perhaps it only gets pulled out from the bottom. I don't know. I'm going to be honest, not sure. But what we can do is grab these speed upgrades that hopefully were made, all eight of them. Go over here. We can shift right click to put them in. Spam it a little bit. Um, do only four go in here? Perhaps. Or it only already had four. It already had four. So it's at eight now. It has eight speed upgrades in it. Let's um, put these back in. And, uh, I don't know. Ask for steel, perhaps? Let's ask for a stack of steel. Can we do that? Let's click craft. Check over here. I think now... Oh, no, it's still... The, the piping does outperform the... Um, the actual energy getting pumped in. But yeah, and then that should be getting smelted over here, in theory. But if I'm honest, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's not doing it. Oh, you know what? Because um, it has to turn into enriched iron and then go back in and turn into uh the grit, or or the sorry the steel dust. Okay, nice. I'm I'm happy with this. I'm happy to wrap it up. We've automated the reactor here, and now that means that we can. We've upgraded the reactor as well, so it's even better. Um, that means we can leave this guy on 24-7. I have him off at the moment, though, because we are setting up the ore production. You were not meant to be in there. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're setting up the ore um, yeah, production or processing, sorry, uh, because this guy could not keep up. As you can see, if we open this guy, 686 iron, which if we double, well, I mean, I mean doubles it, right? <laughs> I shouldn't have to do the math for that. You guys have to. Um, our dragon should be close to the stage three, 40 years old, a little bit hungry, I'll, f I'll, I'll feed her, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, if you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing, uh, plenty more modded content coming at you guys, even if I struggle talking sometimes, hopefully, hopefully it's not bad, uh, bad enough to make it not worth it, <laughs> right, hopefully, um, yeah, next episode, I assume we'll set up the ore processing, Maybe we'll figure out a building to put it in, or a place to put it in, or something. I don't want to sort of have it just out in the open like these pedestals are. Um, we could probably move the pedestals too, and, and maybe spread out a bit. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.